Uh, alcohol impaired fatalities across our nation are at an all time low. As we've continued to review the data, it was hard to believe that one group of drunk driving offenders may be challenging that downward trend. There has been a dramatic increase in the number of arrests of women drinking and driving. Most people think they're okay to drive, or they probably wouldn't drive, right? I mean, how often do you go to take someone's keys from them, if anyone's ever done that, and had them go, absolutely, yeah, I'm hammered, take my keys. As a 22-year veteran of the Metropolitan Police Department, the issue of drunk driving is constantly at the top of our agenda. And I'm the father of four children, I've got three daughters, including my oldest is a 15-year-old, and it's something we talk about on a regular basis. It doesn't need to be shameful, and if we could make it a little bit less shameful, I feel like it might be easier for a woman like me to be able to call somebody like their husband and say, I think I had too much to drink. But make no mistake about it, the period that we're about to get into is one of the most dangerous times of the year when it comes to alcohol and impaired driving. Have a plan, designate a driver, call a taxi cab, use sober rider, public transportation. And let's make this holiday season a great one by making it a safe one.